before the um, sun sets even lower or the, the time runs out, <laughs> um, we need to mention John Keir. Um, because again, um, by mutual consent, he, he has left Bradford this afternoon. Um, I hope he isn't lost to the game. His experience is, is manifold, and, and clearly he's, he's a great media pundit. But are any of us surprised that, um, that perhaps with Bradford languishing in mid table and there being such a gap between the two at the top and everybody else that, um, John is no longer employed? And, and what would be the expectation of a club like Bradford these days? Um, I, I, I wasn't surprised when they lost at home to a 12-man team that, you know, that happened. I'm, I'm, I'm tossing up whether to mention this, but I will mention it because we all, um, we all know that it, uh, it would, have, uh, would have tickled Hatter's, fan, um, you know, no end um, that um, someone mentioned to us. I won't say you mentioned, but someone mentioned to us at, at, at Dave Hatfield's uh, funeral that um, um, Hatter's would have loved it having with Nigel and John Key having both been there. If a coach had been sacked at his wake, you th- you had his, they thought it would have been um, it, it would have been really really fitting, <laughs> and, and it would, Dave would have loved it. But uh, um, John did uh, John did survive a, 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 a couple a couple more weeks, and uh, it's a great guy, great guy, John, isn't he? And I know. Look, my understanding is, um, and I can now walk to London Broncos, so I'm an expert. Um, that in the in the championship, um, the, the the teams that are full time feel like they're in their own little competition and the teams that are part-time that that that's where the feeling is and then the, the teams that are the teams that are you know part-time in the heartlands they desperately want to, to finish highest you know that's that's their thing um and um and and Bradford are very ambitious in that regard they don't feel that another part-time team in the in the in the heartlands particularly well you know another part-time team should finish above them so that's that would be, I'd imagine, part of the thinking. Yeah, I, th- I think Batley being above them, York being above them, um, even Sheffield. You know, I think that that is below the expectation. But more than that, I think we, whoever you know, Nigel and and the people he's got working for him are trying to rebuild the club, and to do that, they need a a relatively significant fan base, and people are stopping going. Um, because they 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 think they're going to be beaten by teams that they should be beating themselves, and that's not the display they put up against Featherstone, which was which you know to all intents and purposes was everything you could expect of them on Monday night. Um, but I think you're right; it's it's not that result. It probably is the the hangover from the Halifax one at home that um, that has led to it. 